Welcome, everyone, to Rhythm and Rose. I'm your host, Joshua Jacob. We have a very special guest. Let's do it. Uh, let's Got go. It. We have Omar. Aaron's not on yet. Omar from yeah. Monha. From the metal. Well, it's not metal. It's more like classic rock, hard rock, right? Oh, uh, shit. I don't know. I don't know, Josh. <laughs> I mean, it's it's uh, it's a mix of I everything. Mean, internally, internally, we co- some, some call it garage rock. Uh, some approach it as, you know, kind of hardcore. Some approach it as like metal. I mean, it's it's love. It's it's like like anything everywhere, right? Everybody right. makes the decision on what it is for everybody. So, right, we're, right. We're, no. I'm I'm cool. With whatever you want to do it. You do. You know, one thing about you guys. When I first heard you guys, I was just like, "Damn, <laughs> <laughs> dude!" I was man. You guys have a great sound. I mean, you guys are just incredible. You and I. So back in the late seventies. Black Sabbath had an album called, uh, what was it called? Black. It was, it was with like eight songs on there, but each song was just like on point, right? And yeah. this, I, oh, it was called Sabotage. That was the name of the album. Yep. Sabotage. All I don't right. know if you're familiar with that. But oh we, yeah, I mean, dude, you're 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 way deeper in the woods in the weeds they are than I am. Good, good job there. Oh, cool, cool. All right. So that album, when I heard Sabotage, I was like, oh, man, like just the sound of the 70s, late 70s rock, you know what I mean? That sound of the of the guitar and electric and all that and the drums. That was, dude, that was like my first impression of you guys was like a Black Sabbath of late 70s, you know what I mean? From that album, all right. that era. And I mean, you guys can get, you know, more intense too, kind of a little bit of like ACDC a bit. But just, it's just, dude, I was just like, man, these guys are freaking good man you guys are incredible especially you and your playing bro when i see you play your guitar bro i'm surprised it hasn't burned up yet because of the fast playing you're doing bro and then and i'll tell you something about it and it's it's not a it's not a certainly not a secret if you're following us on on our on our uh social media and stuff uh there's there's another guitar player in the band i mean this what you're what you've heard is is me trying to cover up for you know the the other person on the team which is a uh, you know as strong as as hell as a guitar player he he brings in the power as well so imagine imagine what you've seen with two guitars on it so it's uh oh, man. i'm 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 blessed and cursed you know that then you know i get i get some acknowledgement but i'm cursed that i have to cover for the for the guy guys uh guy's name uh, is raul he's uh, we he's he goes by el gato negro the black oh cat. okay okay so uh, you know, just just a little kind of nudge here on uh, or recognition to him, but it's uh, it's all in appreciation of of you know the great people that have made music before us. I mean, to me, it's just like my job or our job there is to just play homage to everybody who we idolized up as mm. we were growing up. Right, right. Make sure that that you know the best that we can do is to make people forget about whatever hell their their problems, problems. are day to day. Yeah. For like. 45 minutes you know if we get a good set that's our job and and that's kind of how i approach it and i i we really try i mean the band really tries to to do something different to bring it up to the next level every time we play and i think you get that i think the this oh, band sure has do. something magical yeah. in it, right oh yeah dude every so time cool. i go see you Thanks guys so it's it's every time i see you guys it feels like the first time I, and that's that's again again you know no no um all credit to the people who who support us. I mean, every time we see you guys and we see kind of repeat offenders, that's what that's what I'm gonna call you. Yeah. Um we know we have to do something better. We know we have to, you know, bring it up. We know we have to, you know, go a little harder and go a little harder. And I think that's kind of kind of the motto here. It's just let's see how how good we can be. Oh yeah, dude. Yeah. I mean, you guys just, I mean, I noticed that too. Every time you guys play from the other shows I've seen, you guys do level it up. You guys have grown. You guys have really developed a lot more. I'm like, wow, that wasn't from the prior show you did. So good job on that, man. You guys are doing good. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, and, and it's again, to me, I, I want to get you here on this side, a little bit South of, 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 of the waters. Okay. And then you can have another another experience, and then I'll 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 make sure we 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 coordinate something like that. But that'd be um, cool. We yeah. we try our best, and we'll 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 keep trying. Trust me. Yeah, sounds good, brother. You know, I think the first time I ever saw Monha perform was at the Battle of the Bands at Lowbrow. Yep. Yeah, and that was back in January. And when I do, that's when I first saw you guys. I was just like, whoa, like you know what I mean. So that performance from there, I was already hooked, and I was just like, I need to follow these guys. I need to know what's up. So. 
that was my very first yeah, show uh, yeah and 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 appreciate that because that 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 shows those shows were probably the most nerve-wracking for everybody in the band because it's it's really the 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 context of it being a competition right so that kind of brings kind of some a little level of adrenaline or rush to mm, get to get things right. done right right but then when you saw the setup i mean the whole setup was so well done oh yeah uh everybody sure was. was on audio i mean I, i've run into some of the guys that were doing audio mad I, I can't name all everybody but i mean everybody was just on top of their game every other band was on, every band was on top of their game the crowd was looking for it uh, so, you know, just going into that, it was pretty much like picking up a fight, you know, it was just pretty much like, <laughs> yeah. dude, I have, it has, it has to go down and it has to be like, you have to put it in. And those were probably one of the first times, Josh, that I was kind of on my own, kind of on, on the whole guitar thing. Oh, okay. So it was, it was probably even more nerve wracking for me and I'm, I'm not wow. being, I, I'm not going to be selfish about it, but it was, I, I really had a hard time just getting up on stage because just of the the nerves and the anxiety of just let's pull it off. Let's see what we can do. Right. Right. And and that was probably Josh, right. I'll tell you really honest. It was one of the gigs that really cemented at least that level of confidence. Say, Hey, you know what? Let's keep it. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it yeah. going. Yeah. There's, there's something here. And, and before that, you know, we, we do have a lot of support, uh, a lot of great artists from photographers, illustrators, oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, graphic yeah. designers support us. You know, they, mm -hmm. they're, they're, they're with us and like, much like you, I mean, really appreciate your time and setting it up. And you've been, you know, you know, I've, you know, you've been helping us from day one, you know, <laughs> uh, sweet brother. Yeah. even from that, but then coming up to, to that contest, it was like, wow, this is, we have something here. So yeah. we're trying to keep the momentum. We're trying to keep up with ourselves, but we're really trying to be, uh, respectful to the people who support us, to you guys that are there, nice, um, nice. and and we'll we'll keep it going. Sweet man, awesome. And and I gotta ask you, I I take it you guys are working on an album, right? Well, yeah, we're we're actually, uh, we, you know, part of the benefits of you know we we went. I think we 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 earned some some rewards or you know award from that contest. And uh, with some of those, um, you know, that support and then, you know, when every time we play a gig, uh, what we've used, you know, those those um, resources is to really get back and, and reinvest in ourselves. So we booked some a lot of studio time. Oh, so nice. we do have uh, we have recorded, I think, the almost all of us that did you did you hear live? We probably recorded like 80 percent of it. You know, we oh, really? It. OK. Uh, we're actually in the midst of finalizing editing and production for our first uh, kind of really serious launch. Oh, nice. Uh, which is going to be a couple of songs within the next month and a half. Nice. Very so cool. uh, we're trying to kind of do, you know, it's 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 in, in this age, it's like releasing singles, right? That's kind of what, what right. drives, keeps momentum. So that's what we're going to do. So we have at Amen. least four, four singles, uh, looking for that to be six singles kind of within the next you know five to six month uh window okay so uh um, nice and then you know That's as i mentioned know. we've got we've got great help uh monica blumen she's a great cinematographer um highly regarded uh she's jumped in on board as well we, she's the person that directed and produced most of our you know the video that you're going to see in oh, the nice. next i would say probably next month Oh, we have sweet. Adrian okay. Atrix, another great guy who's always been on our back, uh, you know, supporting us. He's coming up with another kind of short video. And I mean, it's just great, man. And, and again, it, it helps us just set the platform for more more people to have access to the band. Right. No, that's awesome, dude. I and mean, I'm really glad you guys have so much coming up with the whole music videos and new singles coming out. So it's awesome. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we're we're gonna turn it up a little bit, you know, turn it up a notch in terms of you know nice. setting up the band for for you know a band. You know, we're doing the the business side of it, doing that. You know, all that legal stuff, all that mumbo jumbo. Oh man, you're having some wine. Enjoy it, yes, sir. Um, gotta enjoy. <laughs> so, uh, so that's that's kind of the map for the closing of the year. That's that's, nice, that's our plan right now. That's awesome, brother. Thanks for sharing that. I bet the viewers are just so excited to hear that too. Well, the news coming. Yeah, what's yeah. Coming. So oh, I want to yeah. go. I want to go ahead. Go, go, go. 
Well, I was going to say, I was going to get back to you because I'm really intrigued by your playing, you know, when you're on stage. So what, what motivated you to become a guitarist, just like the artists in the past that inspire you to want to learn guitar? Uh, you know, like, for example, like, you know, the I don't know. If, I'm saying for me, who I like, I don't play guitar, but who I like listening to is The Edge from U2. Sure. You know, the way he plays, just like, it's amazing. For me as a drummer, who I look up to is like Larry Mullen Jr., the YouTube drummer. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah sure, he's, sure. he's, he's the, the one that's, yeah. He's. He's the one that inspired me as a kid to want to learn the drums because of Larry, you know? So, sure. so same question for you. Just who inspired you to want to go that route, a journey to want to learn guitar? It's very interesting. Good, good question. You know, I have, you know, never thought about it. So um, take your time. I've been, <laughs> I've been, I've been really blessed, you know, in, in my life. Um, nice. I've, uh, for my, my young, since I was a kid, I was a, uh, classically trained piano player that's how it all started. oh no way music. really oh, wow. yeah, yeah yeah and no way i mean you you I, I cannot i could not do what i was doing like 10 like when i was 10 years old i could not even do it you know i, I have i have the sheet music there still and i cannot even do you know oh, nothing wow. anyways so i kind of you know kind of what did it for me was like i'm i'm quite old dude i mean i'm not i'm not gonna I don't know if you want to need me to confess my age, but when I was <laughs> growing up, enough. it was literally, literally the kind of that eighties thing when kind of the, the you know, the, uh, you know, Guns N' Roses. I mean, oh, I'm yeah, not fighting yeah, okay. Slash right now, but it was, it was that heavy music, you know, um, every time I rode a car with my dad, he was like on with, you know, he put on the pop music for whatever reason, my dad, you know, it was like yeah, yeah. Michael Jackson. It was like Prince. Yeah. It was like crazy stuff like that that my it didn't make sense. So my dad played um he, I think he played drums way back. Anyway, so he was so musically you know receptive, you know, and 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 Sundays it was like always all these, you know. I was oh, I grew nice. up on Elvis. Yes. I grew up yeah. on the Beatles. Okay. Cool. You know, so I think going back to those days, I think it's probably you know something to do with Mr. Harrison, you know, way back when all those those things when I was growing up, I was kind of getting that angst around kind of those those rockers, you know, those those eighties, you know, crazy things that people oh, yeah, were doing yeah. with, you know, guitars and hairspray. Oh right. And then right. uh and then the nineties, I think that that's when I, when it probably hit the most. You know, I I jumped big on bands like Faith No More. Mm. Um, you know, moving on, I I like, you know, bands like um I'm a big fan of Rush, you know. Oh I'm a big dude, fan of Rush is uh, good, dude. Yeah. Uh, big fan of Pantera, you know, big okay. fan of, you know, those, those bands when I was, you know, younger. Um, and I went through some weird phases, man. I've, I've, I'll, I don't know if anybody's from your audience is going to get offended, but I'm a big Dave Matthews band fan, you know, that dude, Matthew, that, Dave Matthews good, dude. Heck yeah. That, that dude, you know, save, you know, me from not, you know, stopping playing. I mean, anyway, so it's, it's a very eclectic, weird sense or cacophony of guitar influences that I've had. I'm a fan of Joe Satriani, you know, so Eric Johnson. I'm really big, Joshua, really, really big on Steve Ray Vaughan. Oh, I'm not, man. I'm not, yeah. I'm not a virtuoso by any means. I, I, Stevie lack, Ray, you know, yeah. that yeah. theory, yeah, but uh, that, that power, you know, mm. just that power, just that rawness in, in what he's doing. Oh, yeah. Oh, brother. Oh, I mean, man. I've seen interviews of many people just trying to talk about, you know, if I would only have 30 seconds of whatever he's on when he's on stage, that would probably be worth a lifetime of. Oh, me my trying. God, so, dude, for real. So no, about, Stevie Ray, so dude, about, for real. Yeah, that that's the thing. I mean, it, and it's about power. And right? I, I really like Pantera. When I approach Monka, mm -hmm. when we talk about, is it a garage band? If it's, if it's you know, what kind of rock? I, I really... I really steered to that and then going even further, like, you know, Eddie Van Halen, I know I try to do some, some, some very basic rudimentary things mm -hmm. that they do or they did, you know, mm -hmm. God bless their souls. Uh, but that's, that's where I'm coming from with the Monka, you know, so I have mm -hmm. a kind of a bag of, you know, memories and things I want to emulate. And for Monka, I think it's Eddie Van Halen. Mm -hmm. It's, it's Dimebag. And it's, you know, Kim Thayil from Soundgarden. Mm, um, it's, yeah. uh, you know, Mike Morton. No, Mike Morton, he's a drummer. But, you know, those riffs from Faith No More, you know, all those heavy, you know, these were really nice heavy bands with one single guitar player. 
So, you know, the, the message was you better be, you better be, you better be on your point. Yeah. So that's the way I approach it. And, and, and again, to, to the band's credit, uh, there's two guitar players. So, and we both approach this thing the same way. I mean, El Gato, he's, he's so heavy on, on his, on his sound. His tone is is right on spot, and again, I'm really hopeful that a lot of people will get to see the full band just in 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 display. And again, I try my best to cover for both of us, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm glad I'm glad it works to some extent. But there there's more there's more to the band. Ah, oh, dude, and what and if you don't mind me asking, what's the reason why we haven't seen him on stage, the other guitarists? Oh uh, well, there's there's kind of a bridge between 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 the cities i mean it's it's just a matter of, of legal legal uh access oh, to oh i see okay states is that the so same for the, kind of the is that the same for the bass player yeah okay cuz the other guy that i saw recently from rosewood when you guys performed i think someone yeah. told me that he was also replacing the original bass player yeah 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 so yeah unfortunately for 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 the band you know we're we're co-located in between Juarez and El Paso and right. there are some complexities complexities not not everybody can get access to oh, to you know being there so that that's a limitation uh with eduardo that 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 came up recently and now we're leveraging we leveraged uh juan barce who's a great guitar player as well okay he's up in magnificently and he 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 helped us to pull out a couple of gigs in el paso so oh nice you know, okay that i was really we're really grateful for for his participation and help nice man very cool <laughs> And with the, uh, I guess, coming up with any shows, do you guys plan on playing anywhere soon uh, in here in El Paso? Uh, we we just did a show this Saturday here in Juarez at uh, Norte Chida. There was a very nice festival done by No Label and some other um, uh, uh, producers that are that are here in Juarez. Uh, Miguel Marquez, he's a he's a up and coming, not an up and coming. He's he's big, but he's he's very, his team is being very active on on setting up the scene here in Juarez. That was our last gig that we did. Uh, we're we're kind of closing down a little bit because we want to focus on on the production of the of we're we're probably meeting tomorrow with our uh, producers and ourselves. We're also co-producing, but we're gonna set up to see some of the mixes for the, those songs that that we we recorded. So we're working a lot on that. We're gonna invest our time in just making sure that you know what we tracked. Um, you know, in the middle of the year. Is coming up uh, in the right way, so that's gonna be it. Um, there's there's probably an event in December. Oh, okay. I think you're, you're I think you're part of it. So we're trying to figure out how to make it work because uh, we. Oh, you know, really? That one. Okay, because yeah, because yeah, yeah, I didn't. Did... Go ahead. No, what the, the 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 thing here is we need a bass player and we need to bring it up like uh, we need to do it. We need to pull it some way somehow. So that's that's kind of our 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 bogey right now. But we're oh, we're looking dude. for that. Okay. Other than that, we were trying to see, you know, we got some crazy invite to play in a wedding. Whoa, uh, is that so, right? That's yeah. cool. Yeah. Yeah. So, oh, you know, man. that might be, I, you know, anyways, you know, that, that this is, that's the thing with this band, man. We, we, it, you know, things come up from, you, you have no idea. Bro, you can, oh, you guys can always play at my wedding, bro. I mean, as many times as you get married, <laughs> we'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> time to get married. Yeah, I'm just gonna do that. Let's get married all the time to have them play. As that many times as you want to get married. Private we'll, concert, we'll bro. There. Heck yeah. That's cool, just, dude. <laughs> it's it's not a, it's not a it's we'll do it, man. Uh sounds good, brother. I don't know when I'll get married. I've never been married, but hey, at least I'll keep that in mind that yeah. yeah. Private you, you private call concert. Us up and we'll be there. Sounds good, brother. <laughs> hey, sorry, right, I bro. really I really do hope it works out for you guys and come on December 2nd at the Rosewood. Because that's the event that I was I was uh, helping organize with Soul Parade. Oh no, and we we have it on our on our calendar. We we have just a couple of I mean the main main issue is kind of setting up a band, player. finalizing that that bass player. Okay. Uh, bogey there. That's that's what we need to to get together. Yeah, man. Because I I really hope it does work out. Because I thought Luis kind of pretty much told me, "Hey, I'm sorry, Josh. You know, it won't work out because we don't have the bass." And I was just like, oh, but for you to tell me this, it seems like you guys are still working at it. We're working at it for sure. Because oh, again, dude, you know, yeah. we, we did it on Saturday with the full band. I mean, we're in what is we're kind of at full force. Yeah. Uh, and, and again, it's kind of that 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 momentum thing. We, we go show up. 
we do our best and then people come up and invite us and all that stuff and again it's we're really honored every time anybody asks us to play so we would do it if it would be we'd do it every day you know if it would just oh, yeah. would be if we wouldn't you know you know we would get tired of it i probably would die if i would play every day with with the with these dudes <laughs> but uh if it was if it was possible we, we would play as much as possible and we you know we talked about it i mean this is a band that is successful when it's when it's live i mean we we mm. It's it's a live band. I mean, right, right. I don't know if we can pack a punch uh, in a recording. I don't know how we could. We're trying to bottle it up so mm -hmm. it could show up in a recording, but uh, it has to be live. And I, that's kind mm -hmm. of the rawness thing that I like about this band. It has to be absorbed in in its in kind of in its natural environment, right? No, I totally agree. I totally agree with you. Yeah, and one and thing again, I so that's go ahead, go go go. Oh, I was gonna say, I really hope you guys do go on December second to the Rosewood, because apparently um, I'm gonna be with some. Uh, well, it's like a special band that's starting, and so they're the okay. first, they're the first band, and so I'll actually be playing with the band. Oh, yeah, and I haven't played in about six months, so this is gonna be a nice treat for everyone, and you know, so that's why it'd be cool to have you guys there too. But I'll be we'll be the first band to play. I just won't announce it until next month who it is, but <laughs> but yeah, I'm all excited, right, dude. Right. I'm excited, bro. Yeah. So I hope you guys can now actually I'm... make it work. And it's a benefit show, right? It's, it's yes, it's it a benefit. A... Mm -hmm. I mean, and then that that's probably the best combination, right? You do what you want, and and people are getting more of a benefit from it, and yes. you're doing a good thing. So we're we're really we really have it in our in our radar. Uh, awesome. But we're just trying to see how we can pull it off. Okay. Yeah, it's actually a benefit show for the Humane Society here in El Paso. So yep. yeah, we, yeah, we already that's... yeah, we already spoke to Rosewood. We spoke to um Javi about it, the the owner, and he was just like he was up for it. He's like, Yeah, I'm fully down. I'll support you guys. And he was actually mentioning you guys. He's like, I wonder if there's yep. a way we can get Monha. And I was like, I can message Luis. And so he was actually interested in bringing you guys on too. But Let's get our bass player uh, and let's yeah, pull man. it off. I mean, we, we love the Rosewood. I mean, that place has been oh, such dude. a blessing for us. They treat us, you know, they treat us very well. Everybody's, uh, you know, couldn't be as, as, as grateful for, you know, uh, venues like that. That that was, that was That, you know, Joshua, it makes a whole lot of difference when we compare, you know, playing uh, Southside versus playing there in El Paso. Just mm. people like... You know the people that run the Rosewood, the way it's it's managed. You know yes. the the infrastructure around it. You know, just come in. They do the best that they can to make you comfortable and and right. and help I, you I be totally successful agree. at what you're doing. Yeah. Man, that's 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 a blessing. So yeah, it speaks volumes. Shout out too. to Rosewood. Yes, sir. Shout, Shout out to out. those guys. Yes, I totally agree. I have because we played there too when I played back in May, and I totally agree. They really took care of us really well with the rest of the bands that were there. So, dude, get Father Wolf on that bill. Those guys are father. Will, guys are oh massive. yeah, the guys they were the ones that were there uh the last show, right? Oh, oh yeah, shit, I man. enjoyed I was, that, dude. I enjoyed. We that. were ready not to play. We were ready not. We were ready to take take one to to be on the bench for a while. But after those guys play, we were like, dude, <laughs> I'm uh, not going after these guys. These guys were <laughs> were relentless. It was yeah. fantastic. We liked them a lot. So shout out to them as well. Awesome, dude. Yeah, I really did enjoy them. They were really great. And that was my first time hearing them. So I was all like, wow, cheers. <laughs> oh, yeah, for me, yeah, for me as well. So when they played kind of the next day, I tried to go to that event at the, another bar. Anyways, awesome band. Yeah, very cool band. Well, before we close on the podcast, brother, um, for the viewers, where they can find Monha on social media, on the music streaming. So, I mean, if you want so to most of our damage. Sure, sure. Most of the damage is done through Instagram. It's uh, Monja underscore MX. Okay. Uh, that's 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 how people can find us. Uh, we certainly do have profiles in, in Facebook. We have a band camp that we never used anyways. Oh, okay. But uh, we do have a couple of songs up in in um, in Spotify, so you can look us up, I think, in Spotify and every, oh, every nice, other nice. Uh, outlet. Uh, they're kind of our first demo, so there's a couple of songs over, over there. Nice. And then uh, we do have a YouTube set channel, but I think mostly you would hear from the band uh, from again at Monja underscore MX. Okay. And that's where you can guys uh, can hook up with the band, uh, you know, send us a message, send us whatever you guys want. And um, we, we'll, you know, with our, our booking uh, email is there and you'll, you'll get a friendly email back and, and, and we'll, we'll do our best to entertain. Sounds good. Thank you for sharing that, man. I appreciate that. 
all the information. No, and Joshua, thank you. Thank you again for the space, for the time. Um, looked at your at the podcast. It's very, very nice, very professional. Uh, it's thank very, you, brother. We like it a lot. Thank you, and, man. Uh, and again, you know, the support, man. The support is 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 and for everybody who's who's on on the podcast today and everybody who's who's been able to see the band, uh, we're really thankful. We're grateful for 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 your support. We're grateful for every every oh, scream, thanks, every, every 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 <laughs> clap, everything thanks, that you guys man. uh do. It's it's amazing, guys. Awesome, dude. Thank you so much. And it's such a pleasure to be that support to you. So Thank you. No, it means a lot. I mean, you you see somebody with your kind of your your shirt on and somebody's oh. kind of nodding their head and they're rocking and that's that's you know, we do, that's that's why we do it. It, yep. it just it just keeps us alive. So, uh thank you for everybody who's supporting music, anybody who's supporting your local projects, uh the bars, the venues, uh you know, the people like you, uh other band players, other band members, every other band. So, um it's it's just a community, and I'm I'm really grateful to be part of that community, and and again be supportive as as we can as a band, supportive as as we can as individuals, and again you know if 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 we can be on this one, I'll try to get more people on this one, Joshua. We yeah. we owe you more participation. Yeah, well, brother, send so, send people so my again. way. Yeah, send them my way to my Instagram, Joshua Jacob thirty one oh seven. That's the Instagram, and that's where my podcast at. Yeah. But yeah, if you have yep. any friends or people you know that are musicians or actors or whatever, just send them my way. Love to have them on. Sure. So we've got a last shout out again to you guys, everybody who's helping us. Uh, Monica Blumen, uh, Camacho Basart. He's uh, he's a great photographer that's supporting us. Chucky, uh, Pilo. I mean, the, the name is endless, you know, and I uh, just want to acknowledge everybody who support us. If you jump on our Instagram, you can see all the great artists that support oh, us man. in many different ways. Uh, photographers, videographers, illustrators. Yes. Uh, it's just great, great space where the band is at. So thanks awesome. so much. Thank you, Joshua. This thing's yes, going to probably shut down in a minute or so. But uh, really, really, thank you, man. We love you. Yeah, thank you, Omar. And I'm sorry that uh, Luis and Aaron couldn't join us on this. But it's such a pleasure just to have you, too, and just to hear your story. It was a great story, brother. I appreciate you sharing. We, we I tried, and we could probably rant on for hours and hours. But uh, thank you so much, <laughs> yeah. man. And uh, I'll get on the horn with these dudes. So see why they. Wh when are we gonna get him on on the podcast? Yeah, man, we can do another one next time. That sounds good. All right, guys. Well, it, this is, yeah, man. Well, this is Joshua Jacob with Rhythm and Roads. Thank you for watching with Omar von Monha, the guitarist. And we'll catch you on the next episode. <laughs>